Our three-year-olds, man, oh man, were they on display this week, whether it was the training mile of Austral Hanover and Cutie Cumber and Tailgate Buzz or some qualifiers or just the training trip today, our training trips today. I talked about with Crantini and Brace for Landing and Horn Player, just so excited about 2023. Let's start right at it. Absolute euphoria. Probably going to be around 215 this week. I haven't seen her go, so I can't really say a whole lot. I haven't seen her go. Um, but I'm very happy with the way she started out her career in January. Her knees are completely filled in perfect now. Everything went according to plan. So we'll see if she can regain and then push forward from where she was in January. Very happy with this filly. Austral Hanover, so, so impressed. It's hard to believe that this horse impressed me. As much as I love him and as much as I hold him in such high regard, it's really hard that he could still impress me. The training mile the other day was something else. This horse was unbelievable just vicious on the track two three and three last half and 59 and three and i mean i was a passenger from the eighth pole not 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 crazy runaway dangerous but just you know he just wanted to compete so much and there was no shot he was going to give any mercy to anybody and i was pulling him over backwards the whole way just to try and settle him down it was game time. He wanted to play. So Austral Hanover back in a big way in 2023, heading into his... Are we going to qualify him next week? Probably not. Maybe. I'm going to sleep on it. I'm going to sleep on it tonight. Brace for landing. As I said, I'm very optimistic about the Colt, but what he did today was well beyond that. I know there was no video, no Mary and Jerry were there. To watch this guy train the way he did was very, very impressive. He looked exceptionally good, especially considering who he was training with and what she just did. Horn player just won on the nine hole 57 and looked very good. And this guy tackled her down the lane and I had to slow him up at the wire so that they finished right together. Brace for landing was very, very good today. Uh, Carter Michael Dio has been good. I still haven't sat behind him. James likes him. He, he calls him second best behind Spitfire. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens and how that plays out. But Carter Michael Dio uh, getting ready, getting very close also. Cash deals tied up her last start. I know a lot of people are like, ah, oh, again, yeah, we're just going to have to stay on top of it. Now they're in uh, breeding season. The Phillies, you got to be very careful with them. They can tie up very, very easily. And you factor in the fact that it's plus 13 today and it's going down to minus 10 tonight with the wind chill. It looks like Sunday's the last big freeze for a while, maybe for the season, but it's going to be cold on Sunday. So that plays a big role. Um, Columbus. Where'd this guy come from? I really thought he'd be on the sell list immediately after he qualified, just the way he trained down. I'm like, I don't think you're going to make it, bud. And then from just, quote, win his qualifier so convincingly and jog the other day, really, really, really impressed with the way Columbus has come back. He's not a sire steak horse. He's going to be a fun horse in the Buckeye, that's for sure. Coupe de Ville was great in her qualifier. Impressive. Very Impressive. And I, I can't wait to race her. I don't care, rail or otherwise. I can't wait to race her on Wednesday. Just a beautiful filly. Um, Crantini was great again. Not as good. He's, he's there. Let's say he's at 92%. And it's not lameness. I think it's just a total thing. Now, was it the training mile? Has it been the training miles leading up to that training mile? Is he a little stiff in his back and a little soft in his stifles? A little sore in his knees and feet because of all that? Or is it just a growth spurt he's going through? Or was he a little under the weather? I don't know. Can't really answer any of that for you, but I can tell you he was good. 2-5 the other day was a good mile. His mile today in 28 was impressive also. Now, we'll train him hard on Tuesday. We'll get a real good look at Crantini on Tuesday and see how he shapes up. Uh, Cunning Connie, quite the opposite. I trained her today. Very unimpressive. Um, but I can tell you mechanically she was not proper. Right, I think I see her knees hurting her quite a bit, her feet hurting her quite a bit. Maybe her lower hocks, got to change her shoes behind and up front possibly, tinker with a gear. I think she's at that last hurdle before she qualifies and she's just not quite ready to go through it just yet. I think we can work with her. I wasn't impressed with her today, but I also a little impressed in the sense that I wasn't, I didn't feel at all that she was comfortable or hung up properly just yet. So I need, think we need to step back, forget that she is a, Cunning Connie is a two-year-old. I don't care what she was like as a two-year-old. Look at the horse in front of us, and then what changes are we going to make? I have not talked to Dominic yet about this. We'll talk this afternoon, maybe early this evening, um, about what I saw, what I thought, and then formulate a plan. I think you're going to see a, a pretty different Cunning Connie appear next week even. Uh, but for right now, she went a mile and 2.5 in the wind. It was okay, but just kind of present. Um... Cutie Cumber was great. I had somebody, my wife, Amy said, oh, Cutie Cumber didn't look as good. I said, honey, 
She wants no part of Austral Hanover or ta Tailgate Buzz just yet. This filly has not got to where they were last year, let alone where they are. And, and where they are right now is two weeks ahead of where she is right now. I thought kind of, I thought Cutie Cumber looked amazing. I'm going to come right back and train her probably in 2-2. And I bet you she looks like a beast on Wednesday when I do it. So we'll see. But I was very happy with Cutie Cumber. Five Fish Species is training down now, looking good. Jumped on her foot a little bit today. I guess Mario said that some the, the geese were there and scared her or something, and she just jumped on her foot a little bit. It was no big deal, but he said she trained well, so that's good. Gandalf the Black has come back great. He's racing tonight at Mohawk. You can't wait to see him go. High Enterprise is listed for sale and will sell. She will not be racing under the stable banner. It's for the simple reason I don't like her. I don't like her attitude. I don't like the way that she has behaved. I don't like the way she qualified, and it's very reminiscent of last year, to the point where, yes, I know you're a fast filly and you have talent. I know it. I see it. But I also look at what you're doing, how you're doing, and how little your, your care level is about it. Apparently, Amy bought some lunch. What'd she buy it from? I see it from, really, St. Louis Bar and Grill. What? Are you at the right place? That is shocking. Okay. Amy McDonald ordering food from the St. Louis Bar and Grill is about the same as Columbus winning his qualifier in 58. It's possible. It's unlikely. Okay. Um, what else we got here? Um, High Enterprise Horn Player was great her first start. Man, I love this filly. I think she will go to the Meadowlands and race. Um big, big, I forget myself how big and strong she is sometimes. Uh, Teresa's done a great job. Dominic has done a tremendous job with this filly and just very, very happy and proud for her. Can't wait to see her race this year. Landing pad's going to qualify on Monday. Happy with his qualifier the other day. Let's keep it going from there. Very happy with him. Landing strip. He made a break the other day. It was very weird. I'd said to Jason, now they've been training very hard. We've seen this all year. They train very hard and then you go with them one day and you're like, not as good. Might need a little work done, might need a little maintenance, might need just a back, just take a step back. So I think what we'll do, we'll, uh, we had uh, his stifles in uh, iodine the other day. The good news is Mike didn't think his feet or his knees were bothering him that much. So I'll train him in the race bike on Wednesday and see how he goes. Uh, leaps and bounds, I was so, oh my God, I was so happy to hear her white count was high, her red count was low, her liver count was high. Because when I qualified her, I was very disappointed. This is a filly that trains so good. And it, it was, as I said, I used the word the other way. It was reminiscent of last year where if push came to shove and she gets stretched out, she just turned off. I don't like that, right? It's, it's not a very deep horse. But she's shown so much speed and slickness training down. I was just so surprised that her qualifier was so flat. And then I saw her blood work. So uh, very happy with, uh, it's going to take us at least a week to clean all that up. We'll get it cleaned up and then race her shortly thereafter. So that's good. Anyway, Merchant Man training down good. Harry said he actually scoped full of mucus last week. He trained flat and he had him scoped and he was full of mucus. A little bit of blood there too. Um, so he had gone easy for a week. He trained him today. He said he'll go back this week. I think, uh, what is it, April 1st. I suspect he'll be at Mohawk training within the next week or so. Uh, Mopar Baby, uh, probably the most disappointing qualifier of all. We're going to change her shoes, do a little do a little work on Mopar Baby this week and get her qualified. I really, her blood work wasn't enough to show why she was so rude at the qualifiers the other day. So I'm glad she didn't tie up, but I do want to find out what the hell went on with her. Uh, if her feet were a little bit sore, fine, we can work with her feet. She has flip-flops on right now. I think we'll do exactly what we did to Brace for Landing. Went to a mushroom bar shoe. Uh, how do I explain this? So, uh, just like a mushroom. There's the hoof, right? So you have the shoe. goes around there. It cuts right in the middle. Now, it doesn't cut off. There's the back two quarters of the foot. You have a bar that goes right down the middle. Just like a mushroom. Almost like a spade, I guess. Uh, so it's called a mushroom bar shoe. And it just takes uh, pressure off the corners of the feet. We're going to put the mushroom bar shoes, because they work so well on Brace, we're going to try them on Mopar Baby. We're going to try them on Smoking Hot Irish Girl, who also had sore feet after a qualifier. So we're going to try it on those two. Put them both in the race bike. I'll requalify Mopar Baby. I want to make sure she warms up good first, but I'll requalify her. And uh, Smoking Hot Irish Girl will train in the race bike also. Okay, more than you know, a winner the other night looked great. Very, very happy with him. Somebody asked, what are her plans with him? I don't have any. I, I think he's a Stallion Series horse, a nice overnight colt, really nice colt to have. 
Um, did we race him back at Flamborough? They raced for like 9,700. It's not like he's going to crush anybody at the Meadows or, or Northfield. There's no need to bring him there either. He's fine just where he is, shipping in close to home. I don't think there's any need to to move him just yet. Are we going to have him ready for the Stallion Series? Probably. I suspect so. But for right now, Melmore's a two at Flamborough. It's okay with me. Uh, my 1%, you know, he got a heavy, heavy workout today. He ran all over the track on Dominic. I said, all right, enough's enough. That is enough. Put some weight on him up front. Tightness hobbles up. I will train him, and he will do it right today. And he trained very, very hard all day. It took him another half an hour on the track. Um, finally, um, he, he caught it perfect. You know, I tightened his hobbles up. He caught it perfect. His gait felt good, and he trotted a quarter in like 31 seconds. I pulled him up because he's not really that ready to do a whole lot, but I just wanted to let him know that he wasn't getting away with the braking and the doing – you're here to work now. Do it right every day. Or I'm going to be here to make sure you do it right every day. And I think we're on the same wavelength when I come off the track. So my 1%. His day didn't start off great, but it certainly finished on, on a high note. Nothing but a dreamer's look great. Very impressed with this horse. Very, very happy with him. I can't say enough. He's one of the most expected three-year-olds of the year. We got a strong group of sophomores, and this guy's amongst the top of the list. Oh, my gosh. Not amongst the top of the list, but could be an okay horse. Bled the other day. Schooling night. Guess I'm not surprised. We're going to make some changes with his shoes, go with him again and see how he feels. We'll probably school him again this week. I know a lot of our clients, um, a couple of them have messaged me and said, are we going to get this guy going or what? I said, well, we can race him. And then when he races horrible, we can Amish him if you want or sell him. Why don't we do it right? We've come this far. Why don't we do it right and make sure that I can confidently say to you, I just don't think he's going to do it. Because his qualifier in 59 was okay, right? So we scoped him. He bled. He's on Lasix. Let's school him again on Lasix and go from there few little shoeing changes. So strong again on that list of horses that might not make it. I like this horse. I like his attitude. I like his work ethic. But as far as uh, total package, doing it right, I just haven't seen it yet. So I hope I do. Sister Solange, again, I need to see more from her. I'm actually glad Megan scratched her the other day. Megan wants to air at 100%, and I want to see her at 100%. So Sister Solange, she'll be in to go probably next week. Smoking out Irish Girl, I just told you. Um, we're going to put mushroom bar shoes on her. I'm going to train her in the race bike on Wednesday. Spitfire overseas is qualifiers very, very close. And if you listen to James, this is it. This is the best one we have. I don't know. I have no idea, but we're going to find out very, very soon throughout the, the course of 2023. We have 21 horses on a list that I think are very, very good three-year-olds. So this guy on the top of it, or, or near the top of it, doesn't matter. I can't wait to see him go. Swinging Senorita, I made it very clear to everybody my video Saturday. Everybody was worried about, you know, you'd heard me talk about how our qualifier was good, but not as good as I'd like to see. And all of a sudden, I see all these shares for sale. Just chill. Just relax. I didn't say that I didn't know why she wasn't good. I just said she wasn't awesome. We'll have her perfect for next Wednesday. Just relax. Uh, tactical Mounds, I, I love this filly. I can't wait to train her on Wednesday. Nothing more to say. Um, I think she has, the the world is, is her oyster at this point. I think she could be any kind of horse heading into 2023. Ta uh, Tailgate Buzz was great the other day. Looked good. Nebu came down, still did his work great. Uh, I think he's going to be a nice horse for us also. Very similar to last year. Warwe Yuri is one of the biggest question marks of the entire barn for this year so far. I don't know what he's going to be. He looked good the other day, and I could see him being a good horse. I can't wait to see how that's going to play out in the near future. And what a mission. Meat and potatoes horse. I think that'll be a continuation into this year of it. I think he'll be just fine. I like what a mission, and I think he's going to be a nice horse for us. So with that, your three-year-olds are done. I'm going to run through the four-year-olds and five-year-olds and ten-year-olds really, really quick. Be back in just a second with the racehorses. <laughs> 